So we just got out of the Hitman's Bodyguard or, uh, hold on, let me adjust the camera. There we go. This is like the 400th car we've shot one of these reviews from. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> What's up, fuckers? Yeah. Yeah, just fuck yeah. Fuck the movie. Fucking fuck. I, 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 I try to count. I did actually try to count how many times Samuel Jackson said motherfucker. I think it was 18. Yeah. But Salma Hayek in one scene said it about five times more than that. Yeah. Selma Hayek said motherfucker so many times. It was hilarious. Oh, before we get into the downsides of the movie, because I want to talk about those before the upsides, because I have very little problems, but there, I have very few problems, but a couple more big problems with this movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Selma Hayek is the highlight of this fucking movie. <laughs> she is so funny. Yeah, and she just, really was the best part. She was a firecracker. I mean, I thought going in with you know Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson playing off of each other, that there was nothing that could possibly beat that. Some high stole it. She really did. <laughs> if I had a, the biggest complaint, this movie needed more of her. Her yeah. scenes were just just the way she talked to the prison guards and shit, and just the shit she would say. Yeah. Oh my god, it was so funny. And, and when they, there's a scene, I don't want to spoil too much. This movie is exactly what you think it's going to be. It ends yeah, exactly the way you think it's going to. There's not much you can spoil in it, really. But there's a scene where they talk about when Samuel Jackson and Salma, Salma Hayek's characters first meet. <laughs> and they meet at a bar, and a bar fight breaks out. And, and Hello, is it me you're looking for by Lionel Richie is playing? Yeah. <laughs> While she's beating the shit out of him and murdering 20 guys at the she's bar. Holy stabbing them in their jugular veins and shit. There's just blood flying everywhere. Samuel Jackson's like, oh, I love you. And that, Hello, is it me you're looking for? And yeah, he's just, that was great. And he's like, it was then I knew the way that she had stuck him in his carotid or whatever artery. I, I knew I was in love with her. Like, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was awesome. Um, as the, the, just to set the tone of the movie, the look on Ryan Reynolds' face at the beginning. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I was about to fall out of my seat laughing. <laughs> but, you know, finally, I'll give this credit. Finally, a movie was made where there are scenes where horrendous things happen, but you were supposed to laugh at how horrendous yeah. they were. So, I mean, there was only four or five other people in the theater besides us. Yeah. Everybody laughed at the scene because you're supposed to laugh yeah. at how just ridiculous they the were. They were made scenes. to be funny. This was like the perfect movie to see for us because mm. it had everything kids got murdered people just got killed in ridiculous ways it was hilarious i haven't laughed at a movie this much in forever oh no <laughs> it was and, cracking me up and there are some people in movies like everybody likes to talk about like melissa mccarthy and the heat and all that like i can't stand that kind of like i'm saying fuck just to say fuck but when people you've got people like salma hayek samuel jackson and ryan reynolds it's like poetry yeah it, it really is I mean, they know how to throw out the fucks when when they say fucking shit and goddamn the way that they can interweave <laughs> it into the conversations it's poetry yeah I mean, it, it's just it's so pleasant it's rather there's so many actors out there that just don't get that yeah that you can't just say the, the f word and it's just funny no these you have three people that just they you just scream shut the fuck up yeah somebody <laughs> and it's hilarious that's the, the best this is one of those movies where it's filled <laughs> with filled with curse words but they're all just used so beautifully yeah yeah so <laughs> I, I got it it was a motherfucking good time fuck yeah <laughs> They said, "God damn!" Just as, I tell you, what's funny? Samuel Jackson only said "motherfucker" like eighteen times, and he had to have said "fuck" a hundred times. Oh, I know. He, he every other word was "fuck." Yeah, and it was great. Oh, it was, it was perfect. And, and the acting all around was pretty good. But what, what's really funny is like there's a guy who ends up being a mole, and I'm like, but. As soon as the movie starts, I'm like, this guy was a villain on 24. Of course he's the bad yeah. guy. Like, as soon as you see his face, you're like, they're that's not even the hiding. Guy. That's the bad guy. Yeah. And I, I don't really want to spoil it too bad, but the whole uh, the whole ending of the interaction with uh, Samuel L. Jackson and Ryan Reynolds, like, what brought them closer together finally... I totally saw that coming right <laughs> from the get go too. Like that it was, was great. It was so predictable that that yep, he's the one. Yeah, and I, I knew it. About, like, I'd say about twenty minutes after <laughs> you're introduced to Samuel Jackson's character, you're like, I think he's the one that did this. Yeah. And, 
And just the way that he tells him. <laughs> Samuel Jackson loves what he does. Yeah, and he, and he, he has does. no mistakes in life. Like, he has no misgivings. He really believes he's a good guy. And, like, when innocent people, there's that scene where he's like, I'm not down with killing innocent people, so I, I got out of there. Yeah. He's like, I kill motherfuckers that deserve it. <laughs> he just killed everybody. Oh, God. <laughs> so many people deserved it. They kill <laughs> And this is another thing, like, Atomic Blonde and John Wick. I mean, Jesus, they really hate people's heads. They do. I mean, so many people uh, just get shot in the head in this movie. It's great. And, and half the time, it's just because they felt like shooting somebody. Like, they yeah. totally already murdered him. They just shoot him in the head just for the hell of it. Yeah, Sam Jackson beats that guy in the face with a gun to the point where you know he's dead and he just shoots yeah. him anyway. So, the negatives to this movie. The one I agree with the critics on. It goes way too long. This movie was way too fucking long. Yeah, it, it did seem like it, they stretched it out quite a bit. Especially the third act. They really stretched that end out. And when you thought it was going to end, it didn't. And then it didn't. Then it didn't. Yeah. They could have trimmed that down a bit. That just I, I, Towards the end, I'm like, oh, okay, just end already. And I don't want to do that in a movie because I yeah. like this movie. I really like this it movie. It was good. It just, by that point, they they had just been doing the same things for so long. And saying the same shit. Like, yeah. I was like, okay, you know, we know we know what's happening. You can go ahead and get there already. Like, it wasn't a surprise. Yeah. It, <laughs> when he flew out the windshield, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, right, after you, like, right after you jumped out of the car, jumped out of the car, you flew through the windshield. Semantics, whatever. <laughs> oh, that's so oh, good. He flew out and stood up. He's like, what happened to the fucking seatbelt rule, motherfucker? <laughs> That was, that was really funny. Uh, another complaint that I'll have about the movie that I'll agree with the critics on, I'll disagree with my overall assessment of the film, but when they said that the movie itself, like the plot and all that, wasn't really strong, it's not. It's really not that. Uh, it's just the plot. It's no, really, there's it's, nothing special. It's nothing special about it at all. It's, it's pretty much the plot to, like, every other not-so-great, action movie in the last 10 years they're all about the same mm -hmm. but I would still say that this one was probably the best one yeah the, the execution is where this movie got it right yeah. and it's casting choice is where it got it right the dialogue was the dialogue alone is worth watching the movie for yeah. just, just to listen to them talk to it, those are some it of the best it helped scenes. me forget about the plot being not that great mm -hmm. by the rest of the, how the movie was made because it, it was just it took you out of that like you, you know what's going to happen right from the start you know how it's gonna end, but the ride getting there was so much fun. It's just it was. It was a motherfucking good time. Fuck yeah, it was. <laughs> I mean, there's really no other way to describe it. It's just like, uh, it, it it was. I, I have to say, I like we were like the last two weeks we had to decide Logan Lucky and Hitman. I as a movie thought Logan Lucky was a far superior film yeah. than this, but I think I was entertained more throughout yeah. this. Logan Lucky is still a, it's a I, better film. Yeah, I, I, if I were to suggest one or the other, I would say watch that it's one. It's a lot better story in that one for sure, but yeah, but, <laughs> this one was so entertaining. Yeah. I I was I didn't have a point in the movie where I wasn't smiling or laughing or just flat out enjoying myself. Like It was so good. I, <laughs> like I said, I can't remember the last movie that was so funny that oh, we yeah. went and saw in the theaters. That like, we actually were like, there are, there are parts of this movie, you're, you're, I mean, tears, you're just laughing so yeah, hard. Yeah, like bust out laughing, and that doesn't happen very often. I mean, this isn't going to be, God, I guess I sh shouldn't worry about spoiling this movie. I think everybody already knows everything about this movie already. I'm not going to spoil yeah. but Besides, it points. came out last week, so we can spoil it. I guess that's yeah. true. It's, it's been it's been in theaters for like nine or ten days now. Yeah, so fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, Samuel Jackson's like, as soon as I get my girl out, I'll, I'll do my thing. And he's like, you're just going to break right out of prison. And then like the next, as soon as it cuts the next scene, it says prison break. And it shows his face. Like, I love that. And then they were back in the bar where they met, like slow dancing <laughs> and hell just breaking loose all around them. <laughs> it's some of the best fight scenes ever going on behind him. The guy runs out on the platoon on, on fire. fire. Like completely from head to toe on fire. <laughs> with, it wasn't an inch of him that wasn't fire. <laughs> and, they, and they just kept dancing. And she's just yeah. looking at each, at each other just lovingly. There, the guy jumps on another guy and like wraps his legs around his waist and he's just 
<laughs> oh, that was... Yeah, they were pummeling the hell out of each other. It was great. I, I can say that there were a lot better movies that came out this year, but as far as having fun in the theater, this is like in the top yeah. five. Oh, I mean, absolutely. I, I had so much... It's kind of like, I, I ranked up there with like the fun that we had with Baby Driver. Yeah. Guardians 2. I mean, it's 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 up there. Like, it's so much yeah, fun to see this in the theater. tons and tons of fun. And we got to see it in the absolute biggest theater that they have mm -hmm. like the super extra giant theater and it was like us and four other people i think two of them might have worked there i think so too i think one of them <laughs> had the blue shirt and just came in to see the movie yeah he just wasn't like he came in early and he just went in there and watched it till the shift started or something i would do that but yeah i would too well, I know a bunch of people that work at theaters. They get like so many free movies a month. We're like, you can just go in and watch a movie. Whatever. Yeah. Like, so I many mean, movies. I would come in two hours early and go watch a movie before my shift started. That'd yeah, be why awesome. Not? Be relaxing and be like, all right. Yeah. yeah. And it, when it turns out to be something awesome like this, that's just going to make your whole day better. There, and there's no way that the whoever wrote this script did not have each of those people in mind when he wrote the Oh, no. Yeah. This. This movie was specifically written for these characters, these actors. Like it's Sam Jackson playing a uh, uh, dude from Pulp Fiction, and it's Ryan Reynolds playing Deadpool. Yeah. And, and if you go into this not wanting that, you're not gonna like the movie. But if you know that going in, like that's kind of what I want. It's these two could, in the movie. I, I want could it. tell that from the trailer that that's what it was gonna be, and it was absolutely that. And I was so happy for it. Yeah. This movie <laughs> like they, was really funny. <laughs> they didn't tone it down at all. Like. It's absolutely Deadpool without his suit on, and it's <laughs> absolutely Samuel L. Jackson. He, he just does all the stuff that he does. And all the jokes and callbacks. Like, every time something really stupid happens, remember it, because somebody's going to bring it up again, and, then, like, different things happen. I mean, <laughs> and, you know, it's funny, that the, 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 the fact that he is, like, they keep referring to him as being unkillable. If you notice, cockroaches, or the word cuc uh, cucaracha, cucaracha or cockroach, showed up. Several times, like in the background, there was like an exterminator picture and it had a cockroach yeah. thing on it. That just showed up so many times just to show you that's what he is. He yeah. is the cockroach. He's the cockroach. Yeah. And he is unkillable. <laughs> he did so much stuff that he would have totally died. They shot him probably five million times. <laughs> there's no way he didn't get hit by bullets. Oh, no. He's just, there's a scene where it actually shows him cutting the bullets. Well, I, don't like, know if was... you, I don't know if you've seen it on the internet or not, but the scene where they're in the boat on the river. Like I had an issue with that. I'll say the, where they knocked the car in. There's been a video going around on the internet where they show it from like somebody's filming it from their apartment, like an overhead shot of the car whipping around the corner and smacks that car and it flies in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally didn't know that that was this movie, but I knew that that was a movie thing. And people were like trying to play it off like, oh, look, it was. You know, it's in bad driver videos and shit like but that. But it's from the movie. Yeah, it's totally from a movie. So you can't believe everything that you see on the internet because they do shit like that and lie to you. Well, there's that one fa real famous scene on YouTube of like Matt Damon directing something and like being really crappy to the people, and people don't know that was actually a TV show, and he was like playing a director, uh, play playing himself as a director, but he was playing a character. It wasn't yeah. really, it didn't really happen. It was a joke, and yeah, it's just you just gotta watch out for what people are gonna twist around. Mm -hmm. Just to try to get, you know, views and shit like that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, real quick, I'm glad you brought up the the, the when they're in the the river scene because I had a massive issue with that scene. I've never seen CGI rendering so bad when, oh, I know. when, it, when it shows that because like you can tell there's a scenes they shot with a guy in an actual boat, but when you can see Samuel Jackson in the boat, you can actually slightly see the boat above the water. The whole water yeah. thing, he's just in the boat and they're filming. It's completely CGI. They did have it a lot really of bad. they did have a lot of bad CGI in this. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I was almost to the point of thinking. They might be doing this on purpose. You know what? It's so bad. Some, some of the explosion scenes were <laughs> so ridiculous. That one with the, w w right before the they showed the guy in the restaurant at the grill, mm -hmm. that last big fiery explosion by there, Shit. that was like 1995 CGI fire. It was so terrible. <laughs> I agree with you, though. though. It, it's a good possibility that was done on purpose just to add to the campiness of the film. Yeah, it could have been. Because this movie is, is not, I mean, as many times they 
they get shot at and beat up and all that, there's no way they'd be it's still walking upright that no. well. So this movie is not realistic at all. So you're probably right. It was probably completely intentionally. Yeah, just, and uh, if that's the case, say if I watch the DVD and like, oh, we did this bad on purpose, we had to, I'd be like, okay, yeah, all right. bravo, good job. If if they were trying to make it real though, they failed miserably because yeah. <laughs> yeah. there was some really bad. And I have a problem. I don't know what it is about flying scenes in CGI. You, you, that's the main thing that they do CGI with. Always on this big theater, whenever they do like a swoop in with something like in the beginning with the helicopter, it's like fucking blurry and, and looks like garbage. Like yeah, you, you can't, can't get it. your fucking CGI any better than that. I, I agree with that. I, I, I will give it one credit, though, as far as the directing. There's some car chase scenes, like the scene where like he's on the motorcycle and all that. Yeah. Where they, they've had to resort to shaky cam sometimes, but really it was just, I mean, they, they change shots a little too much. I don't like it when like there's splits, there's a thousand split second, second shots and they're yeah. all melded together. It did that a little bit, but that was filmed really well. It was like really cohesive. Like you could see him on the motorcycle and like if you go to another shot, you could see him from the side. It didn't just do this the whole time yeah and, that was good that was a good yeah. chase scene so, but i agree did that the air some, scenes weren't shot well but those were yeah they did have some awesome car chases so mm -hmm. if you like car chases you'll enjoy this they did a few things that you don't see every day so that was cool i, yeah. I enjoyed the the car chase parts a lot of fun Oh, look, I, I had fun this is just one of the that's the best way to describe this movie it's just fun it's not yeah. like it's a great movie per se, like a movie being great, but uh, it's kind of like, mm, I've got to wish we were doing reviews last year. I wish we could have talked about the, uh, the Purge election year. Yeah. It's like, that's really not that great of a movie, <laughs> but my God, is it entertaining. It was so much fun. So yeah. good. And I'll use another, like last year I said my two favorite movies were Deadpool and Hell or High Water. Now I think Hell or High Water is structurally a better movie. Which one do I rewatch the most? Deadpool. Deadpool, so absolutely. Like, this year, something you know, like something else is going to be my favorite movie of the year, but I'll rewatch Hitman's Bodyguard a lot more yeah. than some I will ones. too. I haven't bought any on uh, DVD for a while just because I'm lagging on my collection. But mm -hmm. when this comes out, I'm totally getting it because I can't wait to see it again. I tell you what, <laughs> it was so much fun. We, I, I, we, we bought Guardians 2 this week when it came out. And I wanted to hurry and get it because now Marvel and Disney films, if you don't get them the week they come out, they shoot up to like $25, $30. Yeah, such a ripoff. So we, we, we picked it up and uh, it's that movie is actually better the second time around. Is it? We might, we're, we're talking about out. doing drunk reviews. We might like get some rum tonight and watch Guardians 2 and re-review that. That'd be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. Cause that's and a, it'd be a lot of fun for you fuckers too. No. <laughs> It'll turn into like a three hour rambling. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll end up reviewing 14 different movies in the process. Oh, we'll, we'll look at the battery and we'll have been dead for an hour and a half. <laughs> we're still reviewing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well let's, uh, the movie's good. I mean, if you're looking for just two hours of entertainment, like I said, they could shorten that a bit. But it just, it's a fun, entertaining film. Don't look, don't expect to be stimulated too much. Except for, there's a couple things that Samuel Jackson says that on the surface sound like dumb, but when you they have a, they process in your head for a second, you're like, wow, that was fucking deep. Yeah. Like when he's talking about love, he's like, what else do we have and all that, and like that whole part. It's kind of sweet. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. All right. And when life gives you shit, make Kool Aid. And make Kool Aid. <laughs> and then if, you, if you think about that statement for a second, it actually does start to make sense because you wouldn't make lemonade when life gave you shit. You'd make Kool Aid. You go do something else. Yeah. So I, I, Samuel Jackson as Sam Jackson, Ryan Reynolds as Ryan Reynolds. It's exactly what you want. Yeah. So. If you love those guys, you'll like it. If you're offended by fucking shit and damn and cocksucker and God motherfucker, damn. then you probably already clicked off of this. But well, you don't you watch don't, our reviews. You, you won't like this movie if, if curse words offend you. Yeah. And fuck you anyways. <laughs> you're one of those people that's scared of... And I never understood that kind of censorship. Like, if you're okay with the word poop, but you're not okay with the word shit, but it said shit as in to mean poop, they mean the same thing. What does it matter which one you use? Yeah. It's like when, when a newspaper will print somebody's quote and it'll be like, F star CK. You read that as fuck. It's you don't fuck. read it as yeah, every, star fuck. You know, yeah, star everybody cook. knows it's fuck. Yeah, it's so it's, you treat people like children. Uh, that's what, Everybody uh, says fuck. You start saying fuck when you're like eight years old and yeah. you just don't let your mom hear you. 
My mom, well, here's the thing about my mom. We cursed a little bit around the house, but we couldn't directly use it. Like, I could say something fucking pissed me off, and she might be like, hey, watch it. But if I still call my sister a fucking bitch, then it's a shoe upside the face. <laughs> so it was like that. I mean, you, you, my mom, if I always had a bad day, I'd come home like, god damn it. I mean, she wouldn't really, you know, she, I kind of had a freedom with that. But if I directed it at her or somebody else, yeah. like the one time, the one time, one time I called my mom a bitch. One time. <laughs> one time. Yeah. I used to have a pair Learned of Chuck's. lesson. Well, thank God at the time I wasn't wearing boots. I was wearing Chuck Taylor's because she came in and grabbed one of them off the floor. She didn't miss a step. Smacked me across the face, <laughs> knocked me off the bed. Never, I never called her a bitch again. <laughs> not to your face. Yeah. You hear the things he says when you're not around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's go into trailer so we don't run another half hour long video about a you know movie that really only took six minutes to talk about. Fucking fun movies. So. We, we missed. There was, we we got in a little late, so we missed. There was a trailer playing, and we caught it right at the tail end. Yeah, I don't know what that one was. And then that movie came on. That's got. I think it's called American Assassin, and it's yeah. got Michael Keaton and that kid from uh, Maze Runner. He was in Noah and all. Yeah. Yeah. I can never remember his name. That I don't know okay. either. Yeah, that didn't look bad. I'd, Something Dylan is his name. I can't remember if it's his first name or last name. Yeah, I'd, I'd see that. Michael Keaton looked really good in it. Well, and I really like... An actor I like that always takes all the wrong roles is Taylor Kitsch. I think he's... A, but, like, I, in Wolverine Origins, most people hated that movie, and I understand why, but his performance as Gambit was just awesome. Yeah. So he, he he's a good actor that just plays in shit movies, and I'm glad to see him in a movie that looks like it's going to be really good. Yeah, that one looks fun. Um, then we got... American Made. American Made. I can't wait for that. Mm -hmm. This is this is going to be Tom Cruise's greatest role. Of I his agree. Life. I think this is this was tailor made for him. Yeah, I think it was too. It, it, this the trailer looks so good. I cannot wait for that. Well, and the thing about the people who have always been missing about Tom Cruise is he's this great action star. Yes, he is, but like. The Tropic Thunder showed us he can be funny. Yeah. This movie is going to let him be funny and be an action star. Yeah. So I, I can't wait for that. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't wait for that either. And it's a true story, so mm -hmm. that's always nice. They've, like, used to be true stories weren't that great, but then these past couple years they've been making movies based off of true stories that are actually really good oh, one of my favorite movies of the last like five years that i thought like everybody raved about him that uh what was that american sniper movie which was just whatever but yeah. lone survivor the one with mark Wahlberg, yeah about the true story that was, that was awesome. amazing that movie was fantastic it was i love the one we saw with uh fat jonah hill Oh, War Dogs. War Dogs. Yeah, that was an excellent movie. That was so underrated. Yeah. You go see War Dogs. Well, we should do a review of War Dogs someday and just tell people, like, like, it's an underrated movie. Most people I mention it to, they're like, what? Man, War Dogs? Never heard of it. Go go find it and see it right now. It's awesome. Miles Teller, who I really like. Jonah Hill, who, you know, can be really good. He I, was really yeah, good in was War good. Dogs. He That was the perfect role for him. You can tell he had just filmed Wolf of Wall Street because he kind of looked similar. It was yeah. like right up, so he has, still had that kind of style, and I thought he was fantastic. I think he was nominated for what he didn't win, but I think he was nominated for Best Supporting Actor for Wolf of Wall Street. I could, I'm probably wrong about that. Yeah. And then the last trailer, and then we'll go ahead and end this so we don't run forever. But I, I have an issue now with the movie, the trailer for Mother. The movie looks great. It really does. But you know, five minutes after you marry Javier Bardem, you have to know he's evil. Yeah. At that point, Jennifer Lawrence, everything that happens from this point on is her fault. Why would you marry Javier Bardem? I mean, he is, is, when he said, I do, he probably went, I do. Yeah, he's he goes and kills people in Mexico. Like, how how would you not know that? He was a bad captain. He's yeah. been a bad guy. He's, he's just the bad guy. He's bad. Like, all around bad. And he's like 40 years older than her. Yeah, so that's kind of weird. She should have known that from the beginning, that he was bad. He might have a lot of money, and then maybe she was just hoping that he's so bad that somebody will kill him, and she'll get all that money. But she's fixing up the house, and he's making her do all the work. Yeah, he's so a she's dick. like Cinderella. He just like lays around, and she's like doing everything. I That's, mean, yeah. I mean, he should be. She should probably be jealous of the people who come to stay in the house, which is Michelle Pfeiffer and Ed Harris, because Ed Harris looks like a much more lovely person to be around than Harvey Harvey Arbardown. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's about to kill you at any moment. No, I mean he could. Yeah. But he doesn't have to show you. He doesn't look like he's going to, anyways. Yeah. All right, well, people are, are pulling up here next to us now, so. Yeah, so fuck them people and fuck you and mm -hmm. fucking go watch this fucking movie because it's fucking awesome. It oh, fucking yeah. kicks fucking ass.
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs>